Hi guys! Hey everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and another Sims Free Play original design. This is a family home and as you can see it's on two floors. I think this is a super cute house. It reminds me of like an 80s house maybe from the street which Harry Potter grows up on. You mean a British 80s house? Mm -hmm. Interesting. A British 80s house with the shape of that roof mm -hmm. and all the red brick everywhere. Okay, cool. Well, I went for brick because I think I was going for like an ordinary suburban style home, so I guess you could say it's a British suburban house, I don't know. But it was also just mostly an excuse for me to play around with some of the stuff that's been added to the game recently from like the backyard beautification event and the mezzanine quest and those mystery boxes that were in the game for a limited time which gave us a lot of cool villa style stuff, like these windows with these blinds. Yeah, those mystery boxes have been amazing recently. I think they've just finished. Mm. So I got what I could, and I used what I could. But anyway, this is the front part of the house. The front door is here. That's a snow chalet door. Mm -hmm. And some of this paving on the patio and the balconies, that's from the backyard beautification event, as well as these planter boxes down at the very bottom. So as we go into the house from the front door, we find ourselves in an entry hall. And... This is lit by a lovely chandelier, and we've got closets here for our shoes and coats. That's a lot of shoes in this family. Well, I feel like this is one of those families where they make guests take their shoes off when they come in. Oh, wow, so okay. this is storage for all those shoes. But they are mostly women's shoes, if you notice. <laughs> That's true. So it is what it is. And uh, then through here, we get into the living room. And the living room is also, well actually it's the combo living, dining, and kitchen area. And if we go upstairs you can see that it is actually a double height living room. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, we've got that mezzanine thing going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here it's less about having a place to look down on and just giving this living room extra space and height. Which I yeah. think works is really well, particularly as it doesn't completely cover the sofa area. But yeah. for the dining room and kitchen, having that double height, I think, makes a really big difference. Well, there is this overlook here. So there is that option for anybody who wants to, like, stand at this railing and shout down, When's dinner? Or whatever. <laughs> That's true. So, yeah, the living area is basically made up of this sofa and these club chairs and this ottoman which I am just like pretending is a coffee table. I think that's a nicely decorative way to use these ottomans. Mm -hmm. And they've got their big TV here. Very big TV. And then over here is their dining area and for this I used that concrete table from the backyard beautification event because I like the look of it. It's very modern and sleek. Yeah, so the inside, even though the outside it looks like a potentially 1980s British suburban house on the inside, exemplified by this concrete table, it's got a much more modern feel. Yeah, let's say it's been recently renovated and updated maybe by somebody on HGTV or something like <laughs> okay. that. So then over here is the kitchen, and what we've got is a big island counter here made up of those outdoor counters from the backyard beautification event, mm -hmm. and the concrete of the countertop matches the concrete of the table, which I think, you know, works well enough. Yeah. And it's got an oven here in the middle. Hmm. Although, I just noticed that it doesn't actually have an oven. It's a stove, but not an oven, because this is from the Snow Chalet. Yeah, let's, that's weird, which has a wall. <laughs> let's pretend oven. that it has an actual oven. But it's got just a weird door on the oven yeah. that looks like wood. Yeah, mm -hmm. that. <laughs> But I, I kind of just like the fact that the wood of the Snow Chalet oven matches kind of closely to the wood that goes around the edges of these backyard beautification counters like that. And then this is the sink area with additional counter space. This time we've got, I guess we'd call this like a quartz or a granite top. Yeah, I guess so. It's hard to tell. It's also got that uh, waterfall effect. Mm-hmm on the side as well. Yeah, personally I would love a version of this that didn't have that open area under the sink, but yes. you know, that's the style yeah. that they gave us, so... It let's, looks good. Let's pretend it is what you guys prefer it to be. <laughs> so, just wanted to point out that the double height effect works for the windows above as well. I made sure to put these blinded windows at the upper story also, even though I think it would probably be kind of difficult to reach the blinds. Remote control. Yes, you're right. Remote control. Thank you. Yeah, that would work really well, I think. So, 
Before we go to the outdoor area, let's just check on this glass door here mm -hmm. where we get a little bit of an office. Very nice. Yeah, so they've got a fancy computer here and their bookcase and the two of these angled chairs that come from the hair salon event. Mm -hmm. Now, if we went back over to the entryway area, that opens onto a hallway in this direction, which has a staircase up and will go up in a little bit. But if you didn't want to go up the stairs, you could duck around this way. So this is sort of like an open-ish hallway area, yeah. if you can tell what I'm trying to go for there. And off of there, to begin with, is a small powder room with just a sink and toilet and some drawers for extra storage. Nice and simple. Mm -hmm. And then over here is a double door into the master suite. Ooh, this is very nice. Look at that lovely white stuff, white bed sheets, white-ish rug, white doors, white cabinetry, <laughs> I mean, white it, chairs. Yeah, I just went for a slightly more elegant and traditional style of furniture in the master suite compared to the very modern stuff in the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they have... A four poster bed here with the curtains and all that and seating area here with these two French armchairs and then through here there's a pair of double doors actually the one on the left goes to their ensuite bathroom and the one on the right goes to their walk-in closet mm. but the two rooms the bathroom and the walk-in closet are separated by just an open doorway here so technically i guess you could call this like a double door into both of them i don't know if that actually works architecturally you know if this was a real life house but <laughs> it works for the sims free play so yeah because you would you still want somebody to be able to get into the dressing room even if someone else is using the bathroom and has the door locked mm, that's true yeah hmm. but we've seen houses which have the master suite mm -hmm which it has the bedroom, bathroom, dressing room. Yeah. And how's that going to work if somebody's using the toilet? I mean, if it's the master suite, it's like your own private domain, I guess. I guess, yeah. yeah. So anyway... No the, locking of the doors. The, the walk-in closet has these closets from the Custom Closets event. Mm -hmm. And then the master suite has this double vanity from the snow chalet, a double shower from the spa event, and then through here is their enclosed little toilet area. Oh, that's the solution. Yeah. Yep. And yeah, for the privacy. But I mean, the shower is still obviously open. Yeah. Anyway, true. doors have locks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So then off the end of the hallway over here and near to the master suite bathroom is the laundry room. So mm -hmm. we have a couple of laundry machines, washer and dryer from the laundry event. Cool. Now... Let's go out to the back area. So that is accessible from this four block wide door here, which is, I think I got that from one of the mystery boxes. Okay, but it's also from the island. Yeah, but that it? the island had like the darker color wood and oh, the, I think really? the lighter color wood came from one of the mystery boxes. Cool. Yeah. So I kind of just like that feature. Mm -hmm. It's nice, it opens directly out onto this massive enclosed patio here. Yeah. which also has a pool. And you put it a lot in, because of course we're on a standard lot. Yeah. So you've packed in a lot on this first floor, and you've also got this whole big outdoor area with a grill, mm -hmm. places to lounge, places to eat, a swing set, and a pool. Yeah, that was kind of the challenge, and also one of the reasons why the house is shaped a little weirdly like this, mm -hmm. because the challenge was to fit in an outdoor space and also have plenty of room for living on the inside. So as you said, there is a barbecue, and this is from that backyard beautification event. Mm -hmm. And these chairs, these the sofa and these two chairs, these are from those mystery boxes, the villa furniture that came in those. And then this was just a limited time item that was added to the home store for a little bit. So I thought this was really cool to have, haven't used it before in house. And then, yep, the pool is over here. There's even room for a dog house, by the way, <laughs> in the corner. So the family, you know, they have a dog. And, oh, by the way, they have a cat, too, because there's, there's this inside. Yeah, I spotted that. A yeah. nice piece of salmon down there. <laughs> and I imagine this family has a toddler, so they've got a toddler swing set and the tricycle here for the toddler. Okay. So next, I think we've got to go upstairs and maybe we can see where that toddler lives and sleeps. Mm -hmm. So the stairs here are how you get upstairs. And that gets out onto this landing area here which we've seen somebody on HGTV call this kind of place a flex 
space yeah. or something, which I guess means flexible space so that you know you can use it for whatever you want to. Yeah, it seems to be just like an excuse for we have a bit of space, we don't know, it's not really big enough for anything, mm -hmm. but we'll put like a small bookcase and a chair there and call it flex space, which sounds cool. Yeah. But here you've got much more space. This is a super flexible space. Because you could turn that into a sofa bed maybe and you could have yes. an extra two extra guests there. Mm -hmm. You could use that as an office if you just put a desk instead of the sofa there. So this is a, a whole big room for your flex space. Yeah, I would guess like as the kids get older, they can start taking over this space for their own purposes mm -hmm. as well. And through this open doorway is that lookout area or the lookover area onto the main living, dining and kitchen. Now, if you went this way and followed the hall, you mm -hmm. get to the toddler's room here. So basically the toddler has everything you need to keep a toddler happy. You've got their <laughs> bed, you've got their dresser, and then you've got their bookcase for learnings. And then there are just a whole bunch of toys. So whatever I can cram in here, like the stroller and the chalkboard and the tea set and the blocks and the dollhouse and this whole thing, uh, this clock, Ooh, yeah. I can't actually remember when it was added to the game. It was recent, but I just found it in the home store, so I decided to add it. It looks kind of cute. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. The only difficulty, I guess, is if the little toddler has a bad dream, he or she is going to have to shout very, very loudly for their parents to hear them all the way downstairs. Well, that's the benefit of having this be an open mm -hmm. air space. I think sound will travel even better through yeah. the house. Yeah, or maybe they have an intercom. <laughs> Fancy. You know, like a, a baby monitor. Yeah. A toddler monitor. Right. All right, so then over here is the bathroom for the upstairs, and that has room for a double sink and a tub, because that's what you need to wash a toddler, mm -hmm. and a toilet. That's also necessary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, over here at the end of the hallway is the room for the older child, and maybe this child is a teenager or a preteen. Either way, they've got room for bunk beds, and here's their wardrobe, and even room for video games, and also study desk. Cool, they've got a lot going on in here. Yeah, and because the child is older who occupies this room, they've also got more windows than the toddler does, so they've got windows on like two sides, I guess. And at the end of the hallway, by the way, is this glass door that opens onto this wraparound balcony. Ah, yeah. There's another balcony on this floor, but that I don't think you can access. No, the other balcony. It's just for show. Or is, two balconies. Yeah, actually, the, the balcony in the front, or the two, three balconies in the front. Oh, yeah, the three. Yeah, yeah. those are just for show, for trim, mm -hmm. really. But I like the idea of this balcony being accessible because it does overlook the pool and patio area. Yep. Yeah. Now, there's only one more room, I think, on this hallway upstairs, and that's just going to be a hall closet because I had the extra space to play with, and I think it's realistic for the upstairs to have a closet where you can put old luggage like that and also just more supplies because when you've got kids, you need like more towels and cleaning supplies and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's cool. Now, if this was a British house, mm -hmm. suburban house, the master bedroom would not be on the first floor, the ground floor, as we'd say in the UK. Mm -hmm. It would be up on the second floor. And that room at the end, that storage room, mm -hmm. that would be a bedroom. <laughs> or at least it would be sold as a bedroom. It would have a window, because all where those wardrobes are, those closets, that's a bed right there. And I if mean... you can fit in it... In the UK, if you can fit a bed in a room, it's a bedroom. I mean, I think you're being a little stereotypical, <laughs> like... And beyond a certain income bracket or a price point for a house, I'm sure they can make their house whatever way they want. Yeah, I'm just saying you could you'd sell it as a bedroom. You mm -hmm. don't have to use it as a bedroom, but you would sell it as a bedroom. But so. it has it doesn't have a window, so. I don't know if that I don't know if that matters actually. In the UK. <laughs> what else? Yeah, I think it's just if you can fit. I think it's if it's on the second floor and it can fit a bed and it's not a toilet. Mm -hmm. It's a bedroom. <laughs> All right. Well. Maybe you'll get lots of people in the comments arguing with you. Yep. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tour of this house. Please let us know in the comments what you think. And if you are new to our channel, feel free to subscribe because we've got plenty more Sims free play on the way. Thanks for watching.